Yo, 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 you know what it is, man, it's Smart Alice Podcast, Angry Al in the building, I'm going to be your host today, we got a new series that we're going to start working on, which uh, I already told you guys about a couple weeks ago, you know, I'll be on my conspiracy theory shit, you know, I'm glad that I was um, able to link back up with one of my favorite cousins and shit, because he'd be on the same shit that I'd be on for real, for real. But he actually really, really be on it. Like I be, I just be scratching the surface a lot of times. But my, my cuz, that nigga, that he get deep. Like he, he, he tell you where to find the information, he, he sources and all that good shit. So, um, without further ado, you know, the one and only C Sparks. How you feeling yeah. today, bro? Let's let's yeah, let's, let's, let's get C Sparks a round of applause, man. Hold on, yeah, right quick. Hold on. I'm glad to have you, man, because uh, you've been enlightening me uh, these past couple weeks about a lot of things going on out here that uh, that I don't think a lot of people are uh, a lot of people know about, honestly. Um, <clears throat> you know, with um, this new well, with everything going on right now with the coronavirus, um, the election, you know, um, mm-hmm. yep. it's just a lot of crazy things. Um, and one thing that you that you uh, touched bases on, and one thing that you enlightened me about, and one thing that you you was like, cuz research about, and um, was was um, some of the things going on behind the scenes, like with a lot of these actors, as well as you know, with the um, with the government and stuff like that. The one thing that um, that you showed me that really tripped me out was you, the first thing was like, you, 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 I remember you asked me about ankle bracelets, and you being like, yo. Have you been seeing Ellen and Oprah and, you know, Will Smith and these people with ankle bracelets? I don't like yeah. ankle bracelets, nigga. What the fuck, fuck is these niggas got? What are you talking about? Like, you mean like Hitachi niggas? Yeah, or? yeah. That's but, what you would think. Right, but <laughs> then you showed me the, the, the pictures and the footage and shit of these niggas with actual ankle bracelets on. Like, mm-hmm. these niggas are in trouble. Oh, yeah. I know you done had one on before. <laughs> I done had one on before. We know how they look. Right, like. These niggas is in trouble for oh, yeah. real. So I'm like, um, you know, uh, so I asked you what, what's going on, why they're in trouble. So I want you to enlighten our fans on, you know, why these individuals have these uh, ankle monitors on and, and, and what's going on out here that, that, the, that the regular people aren't really, you know, paying attention to. Well, first and foremost, man, I want to um, give a shout out to all, you know, our our pro-righteous people out there really getting the truth out there. There's quite a few of us out here, too. Uh, you know, uh, YP, uh, Mina, uh, I'll say Rec, because, you know, he he's with Amina, but <clears throat> it's a lot of us getting it out here, man. But for my information, man, <clears throat> there is a underground army that's pretty much done with the bullshit that's going on. All that dark, dirty shit that a lot of us know about, but we just want to sweep it under the rug. Um, from my research, there's a lot of pedophilia in the higher ups, politicians, uh, a lot of actors and actresses, uh, shit, kings and queens. Can I curse on them? Okay. Yeah, a lot of kings and queens, man, princesses, uh, you know, uh, people you would never imagine, bro. Uh, people from Bill Gates to the Rock, to, you know, but it's just stuff we need to get more into, man. A lot of our people, we just we like to sit back, relax, but ain't nothing wrong with sitting back and relaxing, reading a book, you know, trying to get some real information on, you know why certain things happen and why certain people are treated a certain way. <clears throat> okay, let me, uh, cause we got some people in the studio. T. Marie, what's up, sweetie? Uh, can you hear me now? Do the people are saying our audio is low? Let me get some audio. The audio is low, bro. Can't hear. Audio low as fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> 
My people be my people be on me though. Yeah, I appreciate that. We might, I might have, we might have to use the mic. Hold on a second. Can you hear me now? Oh, I don't, I don't. We gotta turn that mic off. Yo, yo. There you go. There you go. Okay. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Queen, what's good, Marty? Appreciate y'all stopping by, man. This is this is something new. Uh, I want y'all to stick around. We got some information that we that we about to be dropping. So you know, we don't we don't do it all in one. But it's just part one. But we got more to come. So, <clears throat> all right. So uh, my fault. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to cut you off, man. We had to get the uh, get our levels right and everything. But now we now that our levels right, we should be good. All right, we good. We good. All right, so um, like you said, you know, individuals have to do their own. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me switch sides. Individuals have to do their own, um, their own research. Absolutely. So everything that we're saying, this is just, this is just things that we've researched, things that we've seen. But of course, you know, you have to do your own research so that you can see yourself. But um, um, with that being said, so why do these people? I mean, with the pedophilia and everything like that, like you were talking about, because all right, the document that that you showed me. Um, it had their names on it, and it was an indictment. Yep. And the indictment was from I don't remember who was the indictment from. Um, that was from that was actually for the I believe that was only for the city of San Diego. That that actual uh, docket, but there there's some in Florida, uh, Chicago, New York. So, but that's only. Uh, Little piece of the list, man. Uh, there's so many people that uh, they're just into stuff that you know they would put in movies, and you know we think it's just crazy stuff like Saw stuff like that, man. It really happens. Like they really, um, they really do uh, organ harvesting. Uh, they love us. We have melanin. They uh, trying to figure out, you know certain ways how to use us and use our uh, DNA and genes and cells, bro. Because uh, that's why you found, you know, what was the guy's name? He was wrapped up in, um, like, mats, like Kendrick. His name was Kendrick something. Uh, one of the high school little guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. And his all... And all then, his organs was gone. gone. Like, yeah. That's the type of stuff we dealing with. But we sweep it under the rug. Like, his organs was gone. That shit was crazy. Then you forget about it. <laughs> but you can't do that type of shit, guys. Like, we have to really research and see what's going on. Like, like we, we got to see what's going on. Not only with our people, but with the world. Because the only way we're going to change our people is we have to change our environment first. So we have to really find out what's going on, man. A lot of these movies are real. I've seen I've seen a lot of these people, man, higher up say, like, you know, if, um, if you've seen it in a movie, they either, they either did it or they don't want to do it. They know they can do it and they don't even feel like doing it. Like, But that's how crazy it is. That's the type of stuff we're dealing with, like. And they do this stuff for, for basically, um, for not just to live longer, for everlasting life in so many words, like fountain of youth. Yeah, in so many words. I mean, Matt, we're talking human sacrifice. Um, uh, there's a restaurant in California called the Cannibal Club. A lot of people say it was a hoax, but there's actual actual footage of people standing outside of the building. And it, it don't say just Cannibal Club outside. It said CC really big. And it's just like a a building. From the outside, you couldn't tell. But they say a lot goes down in there. Like, And that's the, st- that's the type of stuff we need to um, really try to find out what we're dealing with. Because with the human sacrifice, and they're, they're taking our babies. That's why 800,000 uh, women and children come up missing every year. Um, they're into adrenochrome. It's pretty much the most powerful drug in the world. One of the most powerful drugs in the world. And you can only get it from a human. Like, So we have to start paying attention to what's going on. And 
Yeah, right. when you told me about that adrenochrome shit, that shit. I mean, and they up. would put it in movies, and they would tell you exactly what it is. Like, yeah, this is this is what it does, and this is how we got it. And I I can't remember the name of the movie. It's Johnny Depp's in it though, and it's older. And when he one of his friends give give him some, and he go he trip out off off of it. But man, it really it keeps you younger. That's why sometimes you see Oprah or Hillary, they look eighty. And then the next day they look forty five. It's 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 really a lot of stuff we need to get into and find out what's going on because people are coming up missing, like, and it's really serious. And they don't care about the black people coming up missing at all. Period. Period. Point blank. And this is probably majority of black people or minorities that you know have came up missing. <clears throat> I'm gonna be but honest with you, there. man. And we gonna go here with it. When black people come up missing, it's from other black people. They're getting paid to kidnap black people. So don't get it twisted. Don't think just white people cruise, cruising through the hood, snatching your baby up. It's black people, too. So, I mean, we have to research it. Like, we can't. Let's, um, let's really try to find out what's going on with the kids and the missing women and that'll really hit a nerve with a lot of people. They'll um, really find out what's going on in the world. Okay, so uh, the adrenal crawl. Now, that was something where you showed me something, the Black Eye Club, where it was a bunch of um, a bunch of people with like bruised eyes. Yeah. Bruised, wasn't it left eyes? Well, I mean, it really don't matter. It, uh, it swells the tissue around their eyes, so it really don't matter which eye. It could swell both eyes, but it comes from the consumption of blood, uh, the adrenochrome, which is in the blood. So, and how they get it is they'll kidnap a, a baby or someone, or you know, someone and eleven, and they'll do some really spooky shit in front of them and scare them to where their adrenaline is pumping really high, really high. And they'll cut a main artery and collect the blood. And sometimes they start drinking it right there, right from the person, like a vampire. And this shit's real. Like, this shit's real. Like, in some of the some of the most prominent people that we think, I mean, like, from the Jay-Z's to the Kanye's, they've all had black eyes. Like, it's something we have to pay attention to. Like, Barack had black eyes. You, who who was punching the president in the face? Come on, let's, let's be serious here, people. That that shit didn't happen. He had to get that black eye somehow. But the more, well, I mean, more don't get me don't get it twisted. That nigga looked younger than a motherfucker too. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obama happened. was young. He it looked happened. he looked young and, and, and thorough too. So I you know I don't know how old he was, but I'm just saying like he never I, looked like he I aged. know Bar- I know Barack done some shit before with a kid because I've actually seen footage, and now it's hard to find the footage. You know I'd be on 4chan and all type of shit, but they have pictures. And, I've seen you know, those pictures, and those pictures and she was fucking like, ill, she yo. like a little Asian girl, but she was really, like, he was getting oral from that little Asian girl, and she had to be, like, 11 or something, man. And that shit blew me back. And he was with George Clooney, and it was a boat full of people, man. Like, they, that shit was crazy. Like, they didn't give a fuck. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Well, they were with a boat full of, like, Vietnamese people, though, right? No, it was white people, black people, the Asians. The, the girl's family was there. Because when Barack noticed he was he was getting filmed and he heard something, so he looked up because somebody took a snapshot of him. It was a good picture, and he, they had to hear something. But bro, he kind of pushed the girl, and she went right to her mom, right to her mom. So that shit was just crazy, man. It, uh, it, it's just crazy. So the people that you know, a lot of the people that we think are doing shit to help us and we need to really find out about these people man like seriously well i also I heard sick shit bro because i think you said something about it too so with the indictment that's what they're being indicted on right oh yeah <laughs> they they do sex trafficking they do pedophilia sacrifice child abuse uh, kidnapping. It's, it's man, the list goes on. Bill Gates killed people. 
That's what he does. Like, how in the hell did a guy that make, who makes computers and phones become a doctor and want to tell the world to take vaccines? But it's hella uh, documentaries and videos of him saying he would never take none of this shit or give his family it. But he want to get a whole world it. it. We have to pay attention, man. We really have to pay attention, man. But that indictment's crazy. I think Amina actually um, dropped that um, document. But there's it's a few of them. You get in 4chan, you get on the other side of the web, bro. You can find a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. And see, I know on that other side of the web, it's, it's crazy over there. Oh, yeah. I know it is. You know what I mean? That's why I try to stay away from it. Because I don't know what's over there, and I don't want to even be, you know what I mean? Go off in there, but I know that VPNs. If you get a nice VPN or something, you can do what you need. You you, you, you can rock in that bitch for real. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Uh, So you know, but so with that being said, okay, so we got the adrenal chrome out the way. We say we're gonna talk about a few little things, the secret indictment. So we talked about that Black Eye Club. Now, Trump's dirty little secret. Now, in my opinion, I'm calling it a dirty little secret because this is something that a lot of people I don't know. I, I don't know anybody who knows this information. You were the first person to enlighten me to this information. Um, and you were saying something about Trump being one of the people who's kind of behind this thing, getting this indictment and these people getting arrested and getting their assets frozen. Because you also said something about Diddy. Like, that's why Diddy did the whole little dance thing yeah, because his money's frozen. Yeah. And he took that yeah. money and basically just used it for his, you know, to pay his bills and shit. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Um, Our people, we are taught to pretty much look at, look at people a certain way because they're portrayed a certain way. But if you really look at it, that's how movies are. That's how we're portrayed as hood thug guys in the movies. So they gonna portray the president as this super racist dude. Now, I ain't gonna say Trump ain't a fucking racist. No, I'm not saying- honestly, I don't give a fuck if he is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> before this shit hit the fan, our people was doing okay, man. It was pretty fucking easy to get a job. Like the economy was kind of jumping, but um, with with Trump, there's something called QAnon. Uh, I don't know if a lot of our people into it. We might just let it go. But from my uh, research, it's pretty much an underground army. Uh, when 9-11 happened, a lot of the generals with hearts and shit who really care about the people got mad about that shit because they know what's really going on. They know it was pretty much done by our government. And it killed a lot of people. Yeah, man. A lot of innocent people. Yeah. For no reason. So, um... 200 generals got together, man, and decided to do something about it. And as time went on, the generals grew, the army grew, um, and the army is everywhere. It's from here to fucking Germany. Like, this shit is going on everywhere. China is um, super communist, so a lot of the organs go there because they know what to do with them, you know. Um, like what the fuck you mean they, they eat them? What do, what do you mean they know what to do with them? Uh, they know how to implant them in people. Oh, oh, and, uh, you know they just them technically. Yeah, more they're technically just technically advanced. there with it, right? Because okay. here you would think they people they oh you're sick you cutting up people and all that which it, that shit's disgusting like you don't do that shit over in China they skin a dog right in front of you and you know that's how they get down but um. There's a secret army that's tired of the shit, bro. And um, Trump, he has money. We all know that. So we know Trump rubs shoulders with a lot of these people. So Trump knows what's going on. And if you really, if you go back and think, Trump told us from the jump when he was with, when he was talking to Hillary, if I become president, I'm going to lock you up. I always wanted to really know why. And I wanted to know what the hell them e- emails was about. And Wiki- WikiLeaks dumped them. Yeah, that Pizzagate shit. Bro, this shit's real deal. They are 
molesting and kidnapping our babies and sacrificing them. They got little pedophile names for them. I know us black, the little black babies and boys and shit, they call walnuts. I know that for sure. But it's just spooky, man, once you find out what the fuck these people into. And we went out, we we go out and vote for these people. Like I know a lot of black people went and voted for Barack, though. I don't vote. Well, you told me that Democrats stand for what? Dem- demon? Demo. Demo stands Demo for Demo. Demo is demon. Chrissy is a rulership. So, uh, democracy is a demonic rulership. Uh, Democrat is a demonic ruler. Mm-hmm. So, it's just shit we have to really, man. No, words mean something, bro. Oh, when yeah. you said that, I never, I mean, I never put that to, I never looked at it like that. You know what I'm saying? When you put it in that context because and you break they down put, they put it the in words. Your face. Right, you break we'll down the words on face, what it means. Laugh at you about it and all type of shit, but it's right there in your face. But what does Republican stand for, though? I mean. Does that stand for some demonic shit? I mean, it's Republic. It's, it's a totally different thing. It was supposed to stand for the people, the Republic. But. They're both fucked up, but the Democrats are worse. And that's where we're fucked up because we'll sway Democrat before Republican. I don't fuck with either one. We need our own party. Absolutely. But National Black Party or something like that. We just need the pro. I don't know. I'm pro righteous. I love my black people, but black people will fuck you over. Niggas killed Malcolm. And if niggas ain't kill him, they helped. They set the shit up. Niggas killed uh, Martin. If they if they ain't personally pulled the trigger, they stood behind the nigga or moved out the way for the bullet. It's like we have to get we got to cut these fake ass niggas out of here, bro. Like or they gonna fuck us up when everything really turn around. We gonna think we doing all right, and it's gonna be some fuck niggas who get us. And I don't fuck with a lot of dudes, man. Like a lot of these niggas who they be acting like they this and that. I can't do polite. I researched it. He didn't scam too many people. I don't do Umar. He scam people. Fucking, the, the, I don't, I can't do him. I can't do him. Well, I feel you. Like I, said, I, I can't do him. RZA. He didn't scam multiple people. RZA? The, the producer? No, RZA Islam. Oh, RZA. RZA, oh. yeah, that's, yeah, RZA <laughs> Islam. Look at like, like for the Wu-Tang Clan. Oh. RZA, RZA did not scam anybody. That nigga's Kung Fu movies were not yeah, bad. I, yeah, man. They're okay. Yeah, but but Reza, um, he I just know. got something from L.A. from the Los Angeles. They just gave him like some type of mirror. And he's a Scientologist who's in the nation of Islam. I don't understand that. How do you even do that? I mean, that's I always thought he was. I never knew he was. His background was in Scientology. I thought it was just uh, the nation of Islam over like over twenty years. But like I was telling you before, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? One thing, cause even though they're scamming people. And I, I'm, I don't condone scamming. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, the reason these people are getting scammed is because the knowledge that these niggas are saying is true. But the whole thing about it, man, if we love our people. No, you're not going to scam them. For sure. If no, you, so they you, that's what that. I'm saying. If you love our people, they stop that. fucking with them motherfuckers. For sure. Because you helping them. You helping them fuck our people up even more. So if you love our people, leave them niggas alone. Let them know. We, we don't support y'all no more. We hip to you. Yeah, because Dr. Umar, we had him, you know we had him on the show one time. He another. We had him on the show one time. Why do you I think, think all these guys could be on Breakfast Club when you got real dudes who trying to spit the truth like Dane Calloway, motherfuckers like that? You don't see them on the Breakfast Club because they telling you the truth. Like, go do some damn research. Well, no, the Breakfast Club got backlash anyway for not even asking Dr. Umar about the, really about the school and about the scam that they that everybody's talking about so he got backlash on that i know that for sure because i was i was reading about that um and i'm and i mean i I agree with you as well because you know this nigga dr umar has been talking about his school for the longest and this nigga school still has not opened to anything and people going to the school filming it yeah i think amina did that didn't he didn't amina do that once i think i watched that not amina but uh um the other guy the Amin guy, and you know who I'm talking about. The one guy you showed me, Pharaoh, oh, young, young Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yeah, I don't know. He might have. I think I seen some footage on there when he was you showing know, that he went Pharaoh there. here and there because he be on some shit, you know. But man, if 
if we gonna get it together, we gotta get rid of that bullshit. We can't have them fuck niggas who gonna get us in at the end, like because it's always gonna if we drain everybody out and we leave one or two, there's always gonna be one or two on the other side and they can always collaborate to fuck shit up again. So it's like we gotta be careful with who we deal with. That's why I read a lot and get my own knowledge, man. We have to. That's our issue. We can sit up, play 2K all day. Don't pick up no damn book. Even get on the internet. You don't need no damn book. Nah, it's easy. Get on the internet. Look up, look into some shit you want to learn about. If you see some shit that, that piqued your interest, do some research on it yourself. Like, really research that shit. And I'm telling you, you will get somewhere. Because from what I'm finding out, man, we we are pretty much brainwashed to the fact where all the fucking celebrities and all these people push towards a certain, I'm going to say, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what to say. I, I, so I want to say candidate. I ain't want to say candidate, but I'm going to say that. Every time it's election time, all the celebrities push towards one candidate, like one side, pretty much. Pretty much the Democrats. You see LeBron standing up for Hillary and all that. Man, these people <clears throat> into some crazy shit. Yeah, man. I could, I could definitely say. Like, I didn't know the extreme of Pizzagate and shit. Did you look up what the other one? That we that we seen Flattergate or Flockgate or something like that? Nah, I actually nah. But yeah, man, that shit was crazy, bro. With them like emails and yo, my listeners, if y'all, I'm telling you this Pizza Gate shit, look it up, man. They got some emails out there that are fucking ridiculous, and I mean it's all public information because you know you can you can access it if you want to go through each and every page of emails, you can. But of course, you can just look it up on the internet, and they'll just have those pages pointed out so you can see them. But if you think it's bullshit or you think, oh, niggas manipulated the paper or something like that, then go through each and every script because you can do that as well. But, man, when you see shit like that, that definitely was like, wow, like a fucking presidential candidate is is texting back and forth about child, por- child about children, period. And yeah. the shit that they was, yeah. one was saying something about hot, because they, man, Guys, yeah. this shit was sick, guys. I don't even want to say yeah, what, what they said, but it was it was it was hot. Just just go ahead and add whatever you else you want to add to it. Talking about hot dogs. Right. Like it was a pizza, a slice of pizza with hot dog for with, hours. With, for hours. For hours. I want a slice of pizza and a hot dog for hours. That, that what the shit. fuck does that what you mean? Who eats pizza for hours? Like that don't even make sense, bro. Like it's That's, just crazy, man. They wording. They symbolism is is bananas, man. Cause they they symbolism all in the Disney movies, all type of stuff, man. It's like a swirling. One of them is like a swirling triangle, like a swirling triangle, bro. Yes, yeah. And uh, seen that one. I think that one's like that. One, it's boy lover or little boy lover and butterflies, like little girl lover, like and then. Oprah and them, man, they be having the necklaces on, like butterfly necklaces. We, man, we just, we don't pay attention, man. <laughs> we just No, don't, we don't. We don't, man. Real and y'all talk. need to look into them blood rings. These celebrities be having on these big red rings, and they call it blood rings, man. And, you know, that that's one of the, you know, signs of sacrifice that they into that shit. So y'all need to look into that, too, man. Blood rings. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy. A lot of people coming out, man. That's grown now. Like Tom Hanks, he was messing with some girl, man, forever. She's a grown woman now. She didn't came out, and she said it. Her parents was giving her to him, pretty much renting her out, hundred thousand, whatever, fifty thousand. Just, I'm like, come on, man. Like, and everybody loved Tom Hanks. That motherfucker is sick, bro. He wanted the sickness. He was on that list. Oh, yeah, I know. Me, you know, you seen him on that list. Uh, everybody I seen on that list was fucking ridiculous, bro. Facebook, Google, Ooh, nigga, man. like, bro, bro, how you gonna? 
a corporation. So that means y'all was y'all was trafficking and shit under y'all corporate name, under y'all EIN and shit. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, come on, man. That's how that's how fucking bold they were with the shit. Obviously, I'm gonna put this shit under Facebook and, and, and send these hoes across seas. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? To China. And then, you know, they kidnapped the women. And then what else? Huey, Hue, Hue, the biggest uh, yeah. technology company? Yeah, Huawei or whatever. The the five, the big 5G company in China, man. They, right, they was on there? Yeah, like Because, man, the shit. That the list was long, into, guys. The shit they're into is just disgusting. I, I can't believe that we ain't really awoke to this shit. Like, we're not. Well, I, you know what? Because people don't want to hear this shit, man. This is the last thing a nigga want to hear today. You hear me? A nigga at work who got to work every day, he don't want to hear no shit like this. But when a nigga don't work, he don't want to hear no shit like this, bro. All I want to do is go home and watch fucking TV. And play 2K. Right, and play that 2K. And chill with my wife I play 2K. Shit. You know I play my mean? Overwatch, my 2K. <laughs> but man, no, nigga, but you, I'm talking about older home. people. I'm talking about older than you, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? My peoples. You can't talk. You can't talk this shit to like our parents. Yeah. My parents would be like, "Fuck up." They would take. They would say, "What? Get the fuck out of here!" But they wouldn't do no research. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They would just think that this shit is bullshit. Oh man, you listen to anything? Mm -hmm. That's what they would tell us. Mm -hmm. That we listen to anything. Oh, anybody say anything? You just listen to that shit. You listen to anything? Right. They tell you that, but believe the Bible. <laughs> like that should be. Yeah, yeah exactly. 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 That's the. That's, I'd be like, that's wow. what it is. That's the difference. The Bible. Yana, thanks book. for stopping yeah, by, man. sweetie. Appreciate it. The Bible, a book of astrology, man. Tell you couldn't tell them that. You couldn't yeah, tell them that. they will be like a book of it. No, it's not. It's it's the Bible. It's about Jesus and the twelve disciples and this, that, and this, and Psalms thirty-one. And this, you'd be like, yo, all right. It's still in the fiction section of the library. And it was so. just a movie. It was a movie they couldn't print on screen, so they made a great ass story. That shit was like. What was what's one of the best movies ever made? Shit, there's so many of them. <laughs> I like Morgan Freeman, so I'm gonna say the Shawshank Redemption. It ain't shit, but like the Shawshank Redemption, just a it's good a, a good ass story, man. A great ass story, man. About man. the sun and our damn signs, man. So it's and then on the other side, while we're and that's why I say while we're blinded by that, feeling like this, that's what it is. They over here. Killing our kids, sucking blood, doing all type of ignorant, crazy shit. But see, you know what? Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Even though our people do get swept up in this shit, I feel like that's definitely some European shit. That's definitely some shit that came from across the seas, some old, you know, Vatican type, Pope type crazy shit when it comes to like pedophilia and, and, and sucking blood and shit like yeah. that. I don't think that shit is really even in black people's DNA for real. It ain't, and I, I'm going to say niggas. Because I don't believe niggas and Africans are exactly the same. Because I believe an African can smack you in the head and drink your goddamn blood. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, yeah, Africans are different. Slaughter a, a goat, goat, get to drinking their blood. We won't. Yeah. We don't get. I don't see us getting down like that, really. Um, but it it is. I believe it's you know European Greek. Well, I would say pedophilia and shit. Yeah, you're man. You look at the Greek kids and Greek shit. art. The Greek art, yeah. they actually show you that type of shit. They, they sit butt naked. You got, got little boys sitting on their laps. They got laying, erect, laying erect up penises with them. on that. On, on well, I'm about to say, shit. they be laying with the little boys and shit, oh. man. Like, who fuck? What the fuck? But you know what? The artist that we were seeing the other day, the one chick um, that was dancing with Jay Z. Uh, she ain't. Oh, you talking about Marina? Yeah, but she was doing like the little art, like they were saying that she's an artist or whatever, you know, contemporary art. But this bitch was cutting people open. Be cutting people you open how to murder. Shit. She'll teach you how to murder something proper. So he teach you how to sacrifice some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll teach you how to put some, how to send some shits to the gods. Yeah. She'll let you know how it's done. Yeah, she'll teach you that shit. Jay Z was over there with her, forehead to forehead with her. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. And, oh, and the way they was dancing looked like some old ritual type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way they was even doing what they was doing looked like some old spooky shit. And that if I was there, I would be like, you know what? I'm done with the music industry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Like that's some, see that, that's how you can tell. Like when you see like artists be like, yo, I fuck with that shit no more. Like I'm cool. Hell to that that lets you know that it's I'm some shit going on. 
that let you know it's some shit going on over there, bro. For real, like it let you know, like, yo, this shit ain't this shit ain't to be played with. Because if you really get in this shit, mm-hmm. then your life is on the line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Period, nigga. Your life is on the line because they gonna kill you before they let you come out and be like, this is what they do every. This is how they do shit. They kill kids. You gotta go, bro. Like we can talk this shit because we ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? We did a little research. They're gonna be like, these niggas crazy. Mm-hmm. Them, oh. them conspiracy theorists. Exactly. Which and came out what? When they murked Kennedy, they want to start calling everybody conspiracy theorists. All the conspiracy theories have been fucking true, pretty much. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, pretty much. Ain't so. no fucking doubt about it. They can call it what they want to, man. Everything conspiracy theory. Oh, the government knocked down 9 11. A goddamn building fell without anything touching <laughs> And it's still a conspiracy theory. Like, come on, guys. Like, wow. Yeah, when they when they showed that uh when they broke that down, they broke that down so many years ago, it's ridiculous. And people still don't believe that shit. People would still sit there and be like, No, no, it wasn't, man. That, come on, man, why would we do something like that, man? That's when Q and nine popped off, man. Yeah, man, but with them, um from what I'm finding out, bro, it's an underground army that's tired of the bullshit. And from what I'm finding out, the shit real deal, because they they tired of the pedophilia. They tired of. Well, you know, you see all these movies. I'm and, with them. When you talk about movies, I'm you strapped see, up and I'm with them. You see a lot of movies about fucking underground armies and shit, or armies rising up against. You know what I mean? They try to. Coming they put the it in shit. all the movies, man. They want shit. Certain people want shit like Hunger Games and shit like that. That's why they have put it in the movie to get you ready for it. But say they saying certain people. They saying they they want it to be like it used to be, like. They want niggas to be slaves again. No. Like 100% slaves. Like, like, all niggas be slaves. <laughs> that that shit saying, will never man. happen, man. If that was, was the case, Trump would have showed that for the past four years. Mm. He didn't show that. He didn't show mm. niggas. Niggas got mean, more jobs. Niggas wasn't getting like, oh, we got to get rid of the black guy. No, nah, niggas was getting more jobs, actually. Like, Maybe really? not Trump, but I'm just saying, there's some motherfuckers out there on niggas. Like, they're talking want, about they, Hillary Clinton they want, Bill the, Clinton. they want the South to rise again. That's, uh, that's, that's the word yeah. of the streets, nigga. Hillary you Clinton I mean? called our kids, bro. And I was a kid back then. What'd she call us? Super predators. Yeah, super shit. predators. Yeah, she called like, Yeah, definitely. She was talking about black babies. Come mm, on, man. Wake up. And Bill Clinton locked up more niggas than any president, man. Oh, yeah. I, like, come on. Research it, guys. It's out there. It's the truth. No, I, we, we know that. Because right. that's when they came out with the street, three strikes law. Um, That's when that shit was put in. You know what I mean? So, nigga, that's when you third strike. You doing life. Like, what, mm-hmm. bitch? I just stole a candy bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Niggas is in jail for life for some bullshit. I'm going to just say this, man. <laughs> I'm going to just say this. For a dime. I'm- like, bitch, I'm doing life. This is a dime bag. Yeah, you third offense though. This is the this is the new law. Hell no. I need an appeal. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna just say this though, man. Give me that nigga off a of, uh, fifty cent new show. <laughs> that nigga that nigga cold. Oh shit. You know what I'm talking about that. I uh, ain't for even, life. I ain't even watch that. It's not a bad show, man. I ain't even watch. It. The nigga think he's Denzel Washington though. The nigga sound just like Denzel. Washington. I swear to God. The nigga sounds just like Denzel. I fucked me up when I first watched it. Like, this nigga trying to be Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Renzel. <laughs> right. Renzel Washington. What the fuck? No, nah, we all, we, 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 I'm off topic. But, uh, but yeah, man, so, that's, this, this has been some crazy shit, though, man. For real. Yeah, man. And, um, you know, it's gonna be more to come because, like I said, we got to see what these indictments going to do. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We got to see what it, Because, oh, yeah. you know, these motherfuckers got goddamn ankle bracelets on this shit. Niggas is about to go to jail or niggas is... Something's going something's on. Something's going on. Right. Something's going on. And I hope it is what I think it is. Which I shared a little bit today, you know. Yeah, a little bit. Well, just a little bit because we still got some more shit we're going to talk about. Yeah, man. We're going to talk about the... I think we're going to talk about the red shoe. We do red shoe and we gonna do the three days, but we gonna talk yeah, about that right yeah, now. We gonna do the red shoe too. So yeah. we do some more research, maybe even my fault, y'all. So that's it, Sparks. 
Sparks, we already know you you not own any social media, so you can't find him on social media. But if you do want to contact him or if you want to send him a message or something, you can always send it in the chat or you can send it to me and I'll make sure I relay this message to him. Please. Uh, this is this is my family, man. This is my actual blood family. Much love. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we um we trying to get our people together, man. And when I say our people, I mean black people, but I mean pro righteous people. People who love people, who love the world, who want this shit right. That's who I'm for, man. Simple as that. And we don't care what color you are, basically. As long as you're pro-righteous, like he said. That's what I am, man. Not big, that. I Start researching that. Malcolm, too, y'all, man. Get on our real, our real true leader. Oh, no. Yeah, Malcolm was that true leader. The I can, only I one we really, that. really, really had. Dr. Claude Anderson talks about that all the time. He really talks, he really speaks about how um, people were, should have been following Malcolm instead of um, instead of um, Martin. Oh, because oh, I thought you were about to say the pedophile. No, nah, instead of Martin, because while Martin, <laughs> while Martin was just asking to be, you know, on fighting for the, you know, riding on the bus and for integration, nigga Malcolm wasn't on that shit. Malcolm was about resources and building communities and and black, you know, doing for blacks. So. You're absolutely right. One of that the, political party, man. Right, the political party, all that shit. So, yeah, so he was definitely, when you do your research on Malcolm, you see that he was definitely totally different. But that's why they had to get rid of it. They couldn't, because well, he, he was going to get too powerful. I'm just say this, man. He was going to get yeah. too powerful. Our own kind. Our own kind got rid of it. The great. Elijah Muhammad didn't like my nigga no more, bro. They ain't like my nigga no more. Because he started spilling the bank. Niggas pedophiles. Niggas pedophiles too. Yeah. They didn't they didn't been turned, they didn't got switched over or something. But niggas pedophiles too, man. That's why I don't do these celebrities, man. I can't do them no more. I needed this little break from everything. Ain't no sports on that. Because you can really sit back. And research these motherfuckers, man. Ain't none of them about nothing. Any of them get some real money, they quick to open the school up. Why you gonna go mess with you gonna mess with these babies? Like I, I just man, I can't do it, man. And I never even peeped that shit until you said it the other day. Like the first thing these niggas do is go open up a school and start fucking with these kids. Yeah, like what? Man. Like damn, nigga. Like shit. The shit makes perfect sense when you look at it. Like you know what I'm saying, in that perspective, you know what I'm saying, you would think that they're doing it to, you know, integrate the hood, but that's not what they doing it because oh, if that was the case, they would put it in the hood and it would be all black teachers and shit like that. It exactly. would be exactly you know what I mean? They would build the hood up. Why ain't they buying all these fucking why ain't they buying Kansman and Harvard? You LeBron. You supposed to buy whole strips in Cleveland. I own Kansman, Harvard, Miles, St. Clair. <laughs> right. <laughs> like and build the hood up. <coughs> like, motherfuckers don't care. The niggas with the money don't care. Them the niggas who got the dope. Because they don't give a fuck about you. I can't wait for this motherfucking NBA shit to start again. I ain't never watching that shit again. You stupid. I, ain't I can't wait till it start again. So I don't have to watch it. I can't wait till it start again. I can't wait till it start again so I don't have to. So I don't watch it. That's, that's kind of backwards. I like to analyze shit though. Because, you know, LeBron, he like to throw up his symbols and shit. A lot of them do. But I ain't into that shit, man. No, we ain't into that shit. So I, I ain't souls. into that shit, bro. When they do that, because they never, they, don't, they, they think money is, 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 is wealth, and it's not. But, so, like I said, we're going to wrap it up today. Like I say, we, uh, you know where to find me at. At uh, at the Smart Alex podcast, or you can find me at um, S O E M G. Also, go to our website www.thesmartalex.com. We got merchandise there, as well as you can contact us through there too. We got all of our uh, videos up, as well as our uh, Podbean uh, Podbean points. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the love. We appreciate everybody who stopped by today, and we really appreciate yeah, yeah, Sparks. Yeah. And like I said, we'll be back for uh, part two. We don't know how many parts this is going to go, but we're going to keep hitting you with knowledge and hitting, yeah. you, hitting you from the other side while y'all getting everything off of TV and off the media. We're going to give you that shit that 
ain't nobody talking about and need to be talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, that real shit. That real real news. Shit. Get off that fake news and get on the real news. All right, you heard it here first. Smiles, we out. Peace.